Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. Along with these tutorial videos, we also provide online trainings and also do freelance based projects uh, on several topics. So if you have any requirement, then you can contact us at uh, contact us through our website or you can directly contact us at our mail that is jcbrolabs at gmail.com. In this video, we will learn how to generate a sound using Python. So there are several packages available in Python which uh, either play uh, directly MP3 sound or .wav file. But there are several. But uh, when we are talking about a programming, so our generally our requirement is like uh, we create a sine wave, for example, uh, through an uh, some. Uh, uh, through some uh, programming and we want to play it back or suppose we are doing a speech processing project so uh, we have um, captured a frame or we have uh, did some analysis on it and if we wanted to play it back without uh, uh, converting into dot wave file or dot mp3 file so there are several available like play sound pi audio win sound vlc player audio lab so several of them uh, use like either used to play uh, mp3 file or dot play file while uh, using this uh, windows default driver but uh, as far as programmers are concerned our main requirement is to play back the sound which is stored uh, or to play a some uh, data which is stored in the form of a variable so we will learn how to do that so for this we are using a module called sound device module so first uh, generally it is not by default installed on your anaconda navigator or anaconda distribution so first you have to install it so for installation you can go to uh, environments then base root and you can click on open terminal so if you have installed this anaconda navigator is to a specific user then you have to navigate to uh, to the anaconda scripts folder uh, through this command window which can be done at like cd anaconda and then cd scripts you have to go to scripts and then you have to run this command like pip install soe sound sound device right so if you press enter so it will take uh, uh, less than one minute and it will install everything okay so we have already installed uh, because uh, that site is uh, representing already satisfied so we have already installed uh, a sound device uh, and once it is installed you can check it from here like import sound device as sd let's say so if no error is there that means sound device module has been installed on the computer so now let's type uh, let's write a program uh, through which we can generate some sound so what we'll be doing we will be generating some sine wave or a single tone signal and we will learn how to generate a multi-tone signal or try to make some music out of it uh, obviously a little one so let's uh, first import this sound device module sound import sound device as st and then import numpy as np and again import pi as well because it is it become very handy from math import pi okay so why I am using this soundpy because it is easier to use and within one package we uh, get uh, playback device like to uh, generate the sound and we also get commands to record the sounds from our microphones. Uh, so in my next video I will be talking about how to record the sound from microphone using this sound device. Okay, so let's say playback play using play sound using python so you can download this file from our website okay so now first okay so there are several things uh, into it as well like first of all we want we are interested like what are the several sound devices which are uh, which are supported by this module so this can be done because uh, let's first import it 
everything so that it don't uh, throw an error in this console so there is one sd dot query underscore devices so this return all the available devices supported by the python so they are uh, near about 12 devices which are supported by it so these are the numeric numbers are the device id of each one and this is the name of the driver and then this shows like what kind of device it is for example if a speakers is there so it is a out type of device and then microphone it is a in type of device and this arrow is indicating like default devices so suppose uh, we want to check the default devices so default uh, let's say what is the command default dot device okay so it shows the device id of then one and three right so if you want to make any other device as a default device that can be done so you just need to sd dot default device equals to five so that particular device will become as a default device okay so this was about like to know the basics like what are the devices connected to our computer and what are the default device now let's generate some sound okay so for generating a sound obviously you are all from dsp uh, i hope all are familiar with the dsp basic concepts like sampling frequency it never goes off so we need to define uh, define this sampling frequency information so sampling frequency means uh, it limits the sound which we can generate from sound card so by default higher limit is 44100 hertz so we can uh, either uh, generate a different uh, sample rate sounds as well let's say we are de uh, defining our sampling frequency as 16 kilohertz okay so once we divide this 16 uh, define this sampling frequency next thing is to define the time axis okay only then we can generate a sine wave so if you are new to this you can go through a video in which we have talked about like how to generate a sine wave so that will be np dot arrange and then starting 0 to let's say we are generating a 3 second sound duration and that difference will be 1 by fs okay a kind of time access and then let's make a sound frequency let's say of 1 kilohertz so at starting we are generating a 1 kilohertz sound and now let's generate a sine wave so that will be np dot sine to into pi into f into n symbol now let's play it so play is simple sound device there's a command sd dot play and uh, and then you need to provide the array which you want to play and then you just need to provide the sampling information at which we want to play it okay so x comma fs fine so let's run it i hope i hope you may be hearing some sound uh, that is my external connected my speakers which are connected to the computer and so this sound is being generated let's try it by with 2000 and let's see if some changes is there yeah okay so there are several uh, it runs the command and gives control to you so if you want to play it after some time we can also do that let's generate this sound for five seconds and then let's make up command here sd dot stop okay. okay it will stop that way okay so for more of these commands you can go through this official website of this uh, sound device and you can get very cool commands there as well so let's try to generate some mix of the sounds let's say okay prior to it let's generate some 15 kilohertz sampling frequency uh, 15 kilohertz sound so 
Uh, you are as I expected you are DSP student so you may you will be saying okay sampling theorem is not being satisfied so there will be an alias alias means a 15 kilowatt sound we are being gen we are trying to generate we will end up with a generating of one kilowatt sound that's right so let's generate it so, so if you hear this sound okay it's too much let's make it two second and uh, now let's hear this both are exactly the same sounds so that is the aliasing concept the higher frequency component if go above the fs by 2 uh, limitation uh, this high frequency seems to be like a lower frequency components so this is what uh, we teach in uh, we do in sampling theorem that is why this sampling theorem criteria must be satisfied if we want to generate a adequate uh, proper sound okay so now let's generate two sound uh, add them together let's say f a is 500 and let's generate an another sound x1 equals to np dot sine 2 into pi into f1 comma into n okay same duration everything is same and let's say x equals to x plus x1 So sound has been changed and now we will try to make a different sound if I got right 500 and 540 Hertz yeah so you may be familiar with this sound it is not exact those sounds which uh, generally used as a tone generate tone signal in your landline phone or in your mobile phone but uh, you are familiar you will find it familiar this particular frequent tone so if you search on internet you will find the exact frequency component which are being used to transmit uh, through your dot phone or your landline phone specifically particular in India we used to hear it so I am not uh, uh, confident enough whether in Europe or in US similar frequencies uh, is being used or not okay so I hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learn how to generate a sound or how to generate a different kind of sounds or a combination of sounds uh, using python so in our next video we're learning how to record sound from using microphone and then how to play it back from this speaker okay so further again you can download the source code of this video from our website which is www.jcbrlabs.org and you can also contact us if you have some query or some uh, freelance project or if you are stuck somewhere okay so that's it for this video thank you